Step one, uncover the light board. The very first thing that you'll want to do is to uncover the light board. The last thing that you want to do after using the light board is to return the cover to keep it safe. Step two, turning on the board. The switch for the unit is located around the back as indicated on the screen. You can generally feel around the back and turn it on that way. Step three, turning up the lighting master slider. The master slider is located near the bottom of the board near the middle. The slider should be set to zero every time the board is turned off. So you will want to turn the slider up to either eight or 10 according to your preference. Step four, turning on the lights that you need. With the exception of performances and dress or technical rehearsals, you'll only need to turn on general stage lighting. Most of the time, this can be accomplished by turning on the curtain warmers. Locate the dimmer number assigned to the curtain warmer located at the top of the lighting board. Lighting for performances or special events will be explained in the Submaster section of the video. Now that you've learned the basics, let's move on to the lighting submasters for specialty lighting. Step one, choosing your lighting fixtures. First, let's review the basics of how a lighting board works. Each slider is assigned to a dimmer or group of dimmers that controls the intensity of light for different lighting instruments. Your first objective is to determine what instruments you will need to achieve your desired lighting effect. This is generally achieved by using different groups of lights to provide adequate coverage. You will want to balance the lights by making sure that you can't see the outline of a single light, but rather blending the different instruments together. Step two, record the lights. There are two ways you can record the lights, so I'll walk you through both. Method number one, press the record button, then sub, then press the button under the submaster and finish the process by pressing enter. Method number two. Similar to the first method, begin by pressing the record button, then sub, but instead of pressing the button under the submaster, simply key in the number of the submaster using the keypad and finish the sequence by pressing enter. Step three. Check to see if the scene setting was recorded. To verify a successful recording, move the submaster slider all the way up. You will notice that the shading of the colors under the subs number have changed. If you do not notice the shade change, then return to step two. Remember, these are only the basics. You can always find more detailed description in the manual located in the filing cabinet or simply by using Google. Good luck.